Hello everyone, welcome to the video series of System Analysis and Design. Today's topic is Windows Navigation Diagram. The diagram behind me is a window navigation diagram and using this diagram I'm going to explain to you what a window navigation diagram is. So a window navigation diagram is basically a state machine for your UI. So what does that mean? It means it shows you each elements of your system where upon clicking one specific button you are supposed to go to another page or another form. So it's basically like a state machine but it's for your UI. Okay. So the objects in our window navigation diagram are usually your windows and your hyperlinks and your buttons. Only we are interested in those objects which are related to navigation or movement between your pages or forms. Okay. So we define our objects using greater than and less than symbols and we call them stereotypes. Okay. For this particular stereotype, you can see this is a window and it, uh, it is my landing page, okay? And the other components of this diagram are, say, buttons. You can see I have written the stereotype buttons. And there are some lines. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to explain to you what these lines are for. There are a few square bracket symbols, they are known as guard conditions. There are a few hyperlinks. Okay. So in this particular example, we are going to talk about a scenario, what happens when you go to a specific website or your website and then you want to log in. Okay. So when we go to a landing page, we see the login button okay so we uh, in terms of windows navigation diagram we're defining it using a box and we're giving the stereotype window and we're writing the name over here landing page and we're adding the button login okay what happens when we click this button when we click the button we follow this arrow click login button and then we go to the login form we write the name of the form, login form, and we write the stereotype form within the stereotype. Okay. And we add another button, submit. So in the login form, there is, say, user ID, password, the input, uh, the input boxes, but we are not bothered about those. We, uh, that's not of relevance over here. We are more interested in the buttons that take you somewhere. So, once we click the submit button, one of two things can happen. Either you have given the correct credentials and you go to the, say, opening screen or home page, or you have given the invalid credentials and you go to a process of password recovery or maybe user ID recovery process. Okay, so let me talk about the easier one first. Say you have given correct credentials and then you press the submit button. Click the submit button and then you have reached the window and here it is the opening screen or we should say the home page. Okay? And if you did not press the correct one, you have pressed you have given invalid credentials and then you have pressed submit. Click submit button here you have given the guard condition. The guard condition is like an if else statement, more or less. Okay. Guard condition within the square brackets, if invalid, just like over here, if valid. So click the submit button and you have reached another window. This is the invalid credentials window. In the invalid credentials window, you may have a retry button, you may have hyperlinks of reset username, reset password, 
What happens when you press the retry button? When you press the retry button, it brings you back to the login form. We can see by this arrow. Click retry button. Okay. So let's talk about the other ones. When you press reset username here, click reset username. It takes you to a form where you can recover your username. Okay. Say uh, in terms of email, you want to recover your username or any sort of protocol of your system, whatever you have set. Say email reset link, okay? Then it's going to email you something. But if you press this button, it's supposed to take you back to the login form. Here we can see that it takes you back to the login form. Click email reset button, okay? What happens in the case of when you click the hyperlink reset password? Click reset password hyperlink. It takes you to another form. Recover password. Over here you can have your password recovered using your email or you can try to recover your password using SMS. So we have two buttons over here. We have given these stereotypes and button names. Okay, and then when we click this, what happens in the input like you have given your email address and then click the email password or you have given your mobile number and then click the send SMS button. After you press these buttons, like look over here, click email password button or over here, click send SMS button. It brings you back to your login form. So that more or less completes your login uh, system over here and it defines this state machine for UI using this example, okay? And um, what I would say that window navigation diagram is a small summary of where your uh, window will go from one click to another and then there are many, there are many processes that you can basically draw using this diagram. Uh, over here I have shown you just one of those examples. Okay, hope to see you on uh, my next videos.